If you've ever felt stuck, overwhelmed, or just inconsistent with posting, I get it. Hey y'all, it's Kiki here and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you behind the scenes as I plan my content for the month of August. But ever since I started using ChatGPT and Notion to map out my ideas, the process has gotten way smoother. So in this video, I'll walk you through exactly how I brainstorm, batch my ideas, and organize my content calendar using AI and a few simple tools. First, I always start with my goals for the month. This can be growth goals, engagement, or just staying consistent. For the month of August, my main goals are post three to four times a week on IG and TikTok, upload at least two YouTube videos, at least I'm shooting for three to four, share more behind the scenes of my tech lifestyle content. I like to write these down in Notion just to stay aligned with my content goals and to not get distracted by trends that don't really serve my audience. Next, I open ChatGPT or a ChatGPTiana, AKA my creative assistant, that's my girl, <laughs> and start brainstorming content ideas based on these goals. I'll usually type something like, hey chat, could you give me 20 Instagram real slash carousel ideas for a lifestyle tech and beauty content creator who wants to post three to four times a week in August. I'd like to keep the tech content at 60%, lifestyle at 30%, and hair slash beauty at 10%. Then I'll tweak the ideas to fit my style merge a few, change it up a little bit, and make sure they actually serve my audience. This has saved me so much time, it helps me get out of my own head when I'm overthinking. And I overthink. So <laughs> it's helped me out so much. Once I've got a batch of ideas I like, I bring them over to Notion. And I use Taylor Lloyd's Socially Organized Templates. So it comes with so many tools to help you stay organized and consistent with your content. And when I tell you she's been helping me out, but in case you're wondering, the Socially Organized Template includes a content brain dump, a content planner, a content calendar, campaign rates plus media kit, a pitch list tracker, your brand partnerships, etc. It has everything you need to stay organized, keep track of your content, everything. I swear by that template so if you're not following her make sure you go ahead and do that and also purchase that template but this has gotten me all the way together okay I'll leave her information below I'll put the ideas I want to do in my calendar view so I can visually see what's going live and when this helps me stay consistent but also flexible if I want to move things around and if something does need to be moved around I'll move it below the calendar in this little overflow area until I figure out where I want to place it on the calendar I also like to color coordinate as well if I'm looking first glance at the calendar I like to see different colors if anything is listed with a yellow heart in front that is my tech content if anything is listed with a pink heart that is my lifestyle content blue is for my locks or beauty style content and the green is for fashion so we're not seeing a lot of green on here but it's okay we're getting back to that being able to look at the calendar and see those heart colors definitely has helped me as well. I love a good color coordination, okay? Also, if you're on multiple platforms like me, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, having it all in one place is a game changer. Sometimes I'll even take it a step further and ask ChatGPT to help me outline a caption or a script. So I can ask something like, write a short hook for a reel about why creators should try AI for their content planning. And let's see what it spits out. I mean, this is pretty good. I don't copy and paste everything, but it's a great base for when I'm stuck or trying to tighten up a hook. As I said earlier, sometimes I get in my head, but this breaks through that creative block for me. Now that I have my ideas and calendar, I plan my filming days. I try to film at least six to eight reels at a time and change outfits in between. I like to do this because it makes it look like I'm filming on a different day, even when I'm not. I talked about this a little bit in my previous video, which I shared my filming setup. So if you have not seen that video, make sure you check it out. I'll link it up above and down below. And I also prep my gear, outfits, props, my space the night before, just to make sure I'm utilizing my time wisely. And that's my full content planning room routine for the month of August using ChatGPT and Notion. I found that using AI doesn't replace my creativity, which was a fear of mine at first, but it only supports it. It helps keep me organized, inspired, and on track with what actually matters. And I'm able to get more of my time back. That's the goal. But be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. If you want me to do a full deep dive into my filming or editing process next, let me know below. Or if you want me to touch on something else a little bit more in detail, feel free to drop it in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.